Speaking of, though... Is this accurate? No, it is not October. Hey, that's what we're doing. We're back here with Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Well, we're entering chapter 23, which I looked at the file name, so it tells me what the next chapter's name is, but we haven't had it officially labeled to us yet. We learned a lot last time regarding Ike and Mist's mother's past and uh, a certain friend whom she had, which was a surprise to... I think everyone involved, unless you've seen the game already, in which case you probably weren't that surprised. Sacre bleu! I already knew that! But we've headed back, and we're now counseling with uh, General Zelgius about something or another, so uh, let's get on with that, shall we? And we'll have a nice base episode. Probably won't be too long, because we don't have too much loot to unpack, I don't think. But we might get a bunch of bonus XP from all that priest saving that we did for the most part. Which would be great for Mordecai and Soth's sake. If that's the decision you've reached, we'll respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our backs, it would be a huge relief. As you wish. May the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. Right, okay, so he's uh, I, I, seeking to take up uh, the vanguard here because of what Soren was counseling him against, I guess? Because that was kind of the, one of the last things we s said, we were, we were talking about. Not, when, uh, not last episode, I don't think, but it was it was recent that Soren came at us with all that stuff about, like, don't you see they're trying to usurp your victory and sweep you under the rug and make Crimea a Benyon-controlled... State or whatever. So I guess this is why I uh, requesting they go in front. If you have need of soldiers, send word. We'll move out at top speed. I'll be counting on it. Thank you. Back to base. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> the information gathered at Palmeni Temple leads Ike ever closer to the hidden truths behind the war, of which there are we are informed many. The assassination of Benyon's former apostle led to the, uh, the massacre of Serene's. A Serene's princess was kidnapped. The medallion is stolen. A complex s skein? Skein? Seem to connect these events, and now these threads have become clearer and clearer. Astronaut's motives are still a mystery, but his silhouette lurks in the shadows of all that happens. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dayan. Those rights are then passed through General Zelgis of Benyon to the Apostle herself. The Kermayan army absorbs another troop from Benyon, and with its might increased, marches on the dayan Kermayan border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects the two countries. I don't see it on this map, exactly? But then I guess I wouldn't know where to look. They're about to point us at it. Ah! Hence, Chapter 23's title. The Great Bridge. At least it'll probably be a pretty uniform battlefield. There's something I can save for us and our potential chances of not dying. My Lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course. What is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be, to see, we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for many years. Kamea is the land where I was born and raised, to feel so removed from it. I feel now, at this late juncture, that I know almost nothing of my own country. It is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I don't have the sense we're on the brink of being back in Kamea either. I don't even remember this area at all. Maybe it's because I was born in Galia and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. For one who knew nothing of life out outside the royal villa, everything is so very big. Big. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The snows were melting, the days were getting longer, and the weather was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. Only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed by. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Ah, oh, my dear sweet Crimea. How is it that you feel so far away? For me too, Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my lord Ike. Let's go home. Ooh, what a romantic setting. Makes it hard to make an appearance. I guess I could just leave you two, whomever this is. Huh? I know that voice. Oh, Renolf. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Renolf. My lord Renolf, how nice to see you again. My Princess Alincia, welcome home. I'd curtsy, but the tail makes it look silly. <laughs> That's the only reason, I'm sure. <laughs> what are you so darn chipper about? Once I heard the news that the Crimean army had taken the day in capital, I ran all this way to greet you. How go things in Galia? You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dayan, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. 
Galia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal! Oh, that's good news! That's very good news! How are they supposed to, I mean, legendary warrior and fire emblem in possession aside, how is Dayan supposed to contend with both of us pincering like that? Not to mention we have Benyon backing us. And perhaps Venus is. <laughs> really? So, is the Gallian army going to- We're going to establish communications with them and create a, uni a united front. That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. That posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked that you would understand such subtleties. Who are you and what have you done with Ike? I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. Kidding. Actually, Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we received reinforcements from Benyon. Of course, you were treated by your nervous little stats officer. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems high strung. King Kennedy is always thinking of Kamea, isn't he? How can I ever repay him? Princess, let's win your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, she was gonna do that anyway, I reckon, at least at this point. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. You should have been there, so when Ranulf was ripping you a new one. What did he say? No, no, I was just joking. It was actually me. I did, he didn't say anything. Bonus XP, 400. That's pretty sweet. MVP, Soren. New allies and fallen. None. Uh, earned, not at a... Um, and plenty of combat XP as well. We've got 6,000 gold. That's, uh, gold, rather. That's not enough to make too much. We can sell some stuff. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. Your nervous little staff officer. <laughs> that is all. By your leave, I'll excuse myself. I don't hate Soren by any means, but uh, man, is it so funny when other characters rip the piss out of him. Supports! I can Soren is a no-go yet. Right, I want Reese and Titania to get one, so Reese gets one more aside from that, basically. And Rolf gets two more. I guess I may as well have, may well have Rolf and Reese, hadn't we? If I want Miss to be at A with any of our people, then she has to choose either Boyd or Titania, and since Titania has taken probably Boyd that makes the most sense. Which case, she can't go with Rolf, and so that means Rolf can only do Reese, Teronio, and if this other person is someone we can recruit, then them. Teronio would be kind of interesting, but uh, just for Reese's sake, let's get uh, this one, why don't we? I'm not ruining everything here, am I? No, because you're going to get Titania, that's one, and then Rolf is two. Sure, do it. Reese! Hello, Rolf. Ugh. Thanks for the hug. Why are you running like that? Did something happen? Nope, I just ran because I saw you. Say, how are you feeling? It's easy to forget he's a little kid sometimes with how grown up he has to be. Today I feel fine, thanks. I did light exercise in the morning and finished all my breakfast. Oh, is that abnormal? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. When it's hard for you, let me know. I remember when you used to get sick and stay in bed all the time, but here you are, fighting every day. <laughs> I remember those days. This new job is hard sometimes, but it's nice to be with everyone. I know! All that you and me and Miss ever did was stay behind at this stupid fort while everyone else was fighting. Being left alone was sad and scary, huh? Yes, I suppose it was. Remember the time we heard Commander Grail discussing that dangerous mission in the strategy room? When our friends left the fort, the three of us prayed so hard for their safe return. Those were the longest days of my life. That's why I'm, I'm scared to fight sometimes. But I still think it's good that we're fighting together now. Positive thoughts are always a help. It's pointless to focus on the negative all the time. You said it, Reese. Let's think positively. Otherwise, I... Otherwise what, Rolf? Oh, um, nothing. I gotta go see Miss now. See you later, Reese. Hmm. Oh, damn it, now I want to see that one. <laughs> that seems like so interesting. But I'll take that and see. That, that was a nice way to, for that to transpire. Yeah, Rolf is the only one when Teronio appears, appears to have bond conversations with at the moment. Very well, and Ike only has one with uh, Soren. That's his only one he can take. Gotcha. Info then. Soren. Three stars. What's up? Hmm. Soren, are you in here? I'm gonna guess it's Ike. Soren, are you in here? Yes. Ike, it's late. What do you want? Shh. Um, Ike? No, no. How oh, strange. I was sure he'd come this way. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> that voice. It's the woman from the item shop, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> Commander? Ike? Where have you gone, handsome? Crud. Did you run in here to escape? Look, wherever that one in the corners me, it takes forever to get away. Let me hide in here until things simmer down. We begin marching tomorrow morning. This is a waste of valuable time. I'll go and chase her away. Wait, wait, Zorn! Ike! Ikeepoo! Where are you? Amy? Oh, Zorn, you. 
I mean, um, hi! <laughs> Why are you out so late? Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes, I do. I found a special something I'd like to give to him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm, what should I do? You see, I have this new staff. The staff is very valuable. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a hammer, is it not? A rare staff that can take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repair it completely. Why, that's right. You're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all the world. It truly is priceless. God, I, that, that seems improbable that you have that, then. And you want to give this to Ike? Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to capture Ike's attention, bringing him staves and whatnot will avail you nothing. What? Really? Oh dear. I was so hoping he would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat, di meat dishes. Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but... Oh, I've got it. I've known the perfect dish. Ah, good. He will be very pleased. Um, what about the staff? <laughs> you can keep it as payment for the cooking tip. Take good care of it. Well, she's unexpectedly generous. I received something quite nice from your admirer, I keep who. Thank you so much. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> well, Ike received it. Uh, sweet, so you can use that. You just, you'd use it and then pick an item, I think. Anyway, so I, I've... Historically, I never end up actually using them, but I should. Right, so we have like 478 XP or something like that? Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, so where are the balls is Mordecai? Here he is. I honestly think Soth is probably uh, in a better standing than him, considering how fast he's likely to grow with his very good speed. I want to get you up like two levels. Let's start with this. I'll probably just put it all in you, because uh, Soth is a few levels above you. More strength and skill. Look at that big sword in the corner there. More strength? My god. And here I was all like, oh, I think Leafy probably has better strength. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's currently transformed. That's right. Hang on, let me let me take the... Or is it better to level up when you're transformed, or does it matter? I'm actually not sure. How do I not equip? <laughs> oh, unequip, I see. Strength 17... 16. Okay, so he's, he's uh, comparable. Right, okay. Actually, it makes more sense to, trans to, to do it when you're not transformed, right? Because... I don't actually know if it matters, but... If anything, it would, you would want this, because when you transform, it doubles the thing. So if you leveled up by one strength here, then you transformed, it would level it up by two? I don't know. Let's just dump it all in him. It's fine. Some speed would be a, a mighty boon. Yes, good. Oh, that was really good. Well done. Oh, I could, I could just give him this one XP? Sure. Hooey. <laughs> I don't believe we have any skills to, to assign. I'll just do some brief inventory management, uh, and I guess we'll try and forge something. Still trying to get your fire up because I'd love you for you to be able to use Meteor eventually. Swap in your slightly better killer bow. And a nicer steel bow. It's the wrong one. <laughs> Probably that Hem Aaron would be most useful for withdrawing, uh, or fixing up, I don't know, what the balls was I going to say? Right, um, uh, either our custom weapons, because they're expensive, or ones we can't get anywhere else, like the Regal Sword, for instance. Although, I mean, the Regal Sword is not, like, overly busted. It's pretty nice. The damage isn't much, it's more the, the weapon type advantage that occasionally gives it, like, a slight damage bump over the others, but... Ooh, this has a might of 10? Wicked. Speaking of, would it make more sense to... Why the hell have I not given that to Miss? What am I giving it to Ike for? You probably don't need two heal stabs at once. Oh, she probably can't use it, can she? You need sort of B? How close is she to that? She's a D, actually. That'll be a while, a ways off. I'll, I'll keep it with Ike for now. You know, we're probably not gonna have enough money to forge something every single uh, mission, but we, we got a lot of good forged weapons, so I'm thinking something now for... Well, actually, let me just have a look at this store first. You can you still have got all these things. That's good. Uh, did that say a heal staff is 800? Youch. Didn't realize they were so pricey. Um, so iron swords, steel swords. We don't have very many iron swords. It might be nice to get an extra one. I'll just buy like one. Steel sword, uh, we have three in convoy, but I'll buy another one. Silver sword, ooh, uh, it's pricey, but I'll buy one. Steel lances we're always running low on. Silver lance, pricey, but I'll get another one. Head axes I think we're well get taken care of. Steel bow, I'll just buy one more. Now we're about out of money. Elwind, ooh, I want one. Um. It's time to sell, I think, probably those Master Seals, yeah? How many have we got? Oh, one. I'll just sell them as I need it, Ed, too, in case I suddenly decide that I want 
that for um, Soth or whatever. In that case, I'm just gonna buy one more Silver Lance and Silver Sword as well. Ooh, right, um, there's a bunch of items and junk we looted that we should put away, like the Spirit Dust. Pretty good, I think we're probably good to, ooh, I didn't forge anything after all that. You know, honestly, actually, I'm not too desperate for anything, I don't think. I mean, I'm probably gonna regret saying that later. I'd be like, oh, I should have had a thing, but whatever, I can, I can say all I want. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, I, I guess make giving you a, a bow, because I keep giving you the 28th shot when things get desperate, but I, it would probably be better if I just gave you your own version of that. How much, how much better is it than a steel bow? Five more, right, okay. Did I really, is three all the crit I could give it, or did I just slack off on the crit? for yours. Can't imagine why I would have done that. Ooh, we can make silver swords and junk now. So we, we can make anything that was already in the store, is that right? Does that mean we'll eventually be able to forge our own special kind of sonic swords? No, probably not. Just wanted to check, if I make it off of steel... Come on, I just want to see what it looks like. I also don't soon see myself increasing the build, but I'll hang on to it anyway. Okay, yeah, you can make... So I, why, why I didn't is beyond me. Uh, I guess I just... That was, was too pricey. I can see why now, actually. 11,000 is a bit much. Anyway, I won't do that just now. God, this looks exactly like the place we just left. This is unnerving. So they're finally here, are they? Has the work on the bridge been finished? And your answer better be yes. Yes, General. Do you think it will work? Sometimes the simplest of traps offer up the best results. Lure the enemy in and then finish them off one by one. Got it? Listen up, dogs. There will be no retreating today. We stop Crimea's advance here. We will not allow them to gain the comfort of their homeland. Any who do not fight to the death will face my lance. Death either way, good. There's the bridge. Wow, it's huge. I doubt if Dan's gonna let us cross over without objection. Yeah, I think that's highly unlikely. Titania, it's time to march. Make sure the troops stay alert and move with caution. Understood, Commander. Say, Ike, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Are you single? What? I mean, um, what is it? I haven't seen Nasir around. What's happened to him? He was declared an enemy combatant and locked up. What? Hey, I understand you being irked that he didn't mention testing you and all, but treating him like a criminal is too- Testing me? What are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, um... Nice weather, eh? We're going to talk now. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> the slip of the tongue, but it almost seemed intentional, like he wanted to ac wanted to accidentally bring it up. Nasir is a Dan spy? No way, that's not possible. He was our spy. You're telling me he was a Gallian spy? None of this makes sense to me. He worked for us on behalf of the king. But Dan? As a Lagoos, he would have absolutely no reason to work for them. But there was a Galdoan named Ina who was working with it for a, as a general for Dan. Are you serious? Yes, we were forced to fight her in the Dan capital. When we attempted to capture her, Nasir intervened and allowed her to escape. He betrayed us. What? Hold on a minute. Maybe that was... If that's the case, then I can see why... No, no. even so, teaming up with Dan is just too much. <sighs> I hate to interrupt whatever it is you're doing, but we've arrived at the bridge. Let me speak to Nasir, please. Once we finish this battle, we can go together, alright? Of course. So he knows something about, I mean, obviously being uh, pretty high up in the Gallian forces, he would know uh, some, I feel like this bridge is in the sequel. I remember this bridge. This bridge is very familiar to me. It's where I got <laughs> one of our characters up to max level by just spamming healing arts. All right, Har, time for you to go to work. No, oh, um, five more minutes. Dozing off on the battlefield. You've got a lot of nerve, don't you? Hey, wake up or I'll burn you to a crisp. Uh, what? Uh, right. Mm. Has the enemy arrived? Yes, they just got here. Now get out there and do your job. Oh, I'm all over it. <sighs> <sighs> what an absolute fool. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that to recruit him, we probably need Jill, and so that's a lost cause now. It ain't gonna stop me from trying. I don't know who to try with, though. I guess just everyone we bring. Good gosh, that's a lot of people. I love Soren just staying there with his back to the enemy, like, all right, guys, here's the plan. <laughs> like, they're not, like, ten feet away. Well, here we are. And there's the Dan army on the other side, as expected. They're already in battle formation and waiting to give us a warm welcome. Aw, oh, that's charming. That's just what I want. <laughs> well said. And by the way, I thought I'd join you today. Not as a Gallian, but as part of our army, right? And if it's a problem, I can always sit this one out. Of course not. Thanks for your continued support, Rolf. R R Brian Rolf. No, Rolf is the... That's Rolf over there. God, he's gotten tall. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. 
Let's go carve us some Dayans. Ah, nice and brutal. Just the way I don't like it. So let's see what his- he's got- he's freaking strong, right? Oh yeah, he's pretty damn strong. Ooh. Ooh, so he's just kind of on our party. That's dope. Right, um, I'm gonna sort it by level, but we want Soren. I'm just gonna bring all our level twos. That's it's not sorted by level all of a sudden. Uh, boop boop. Right, that works. And level three is what I don't we? We've got a lot of people for this, thankfully. All right, now here's where I'm gonna have to actually sort of start uh, vetting it. So we want Soth, because he's a class below. What's his attack power now is um, with the stiletto max of 18, but right now, realistically, it's gonna be more like 14, which is still probably damaging some people here. Yeah. Not you. Ah, oh, not you. <laughs> we got a brave axe. Oh, cripes. Oh my god, Petrina's here and she's got a flame lance and you can loot it. Holy balls. Then we get to actually fight Petrina. I wasn't expecting that would come so soon. Daunt. Decreases hit and critical hit percentages of all enemies within three spaces. Jesus. Lance ass axe A. What's that defense and res? Oh, pretty solid. And this is all magic damage. Wicked. Okay. So she's pretty cool and strong, and but mostly strong. Three more units. I'd love to bring Mordecai and Ranolf, and Levi and Brahman Astrid and Missing Rolf. <laughs> uh, best bring Mordecai, because he's lower in levels, we, we want him to be climbing. We already brought Reese, so we probably don't need a second healer, and Mist is climbing levels quite fast. Astrid is pretty high level. I mean, Levi is still- uh, Ranolf- Levi's a higher level than Ranolf. She's not quite as strong as him, but she is hella much faster. Oh god, she's not as defensive as him either. I'll bring Ranolf, because it's first time and that's exciting. Ooh, okay, so now between this bunch, Mist, Rolf, Brom, Astrid, Levy, Race, and Tyronio, Titania. It's been a bit since we brought Titania, but she is still level 11 classed up. Um, so probably it makes the most- I mean, it makes the most sense to do Levy, I think, because... Technically, Brom and Rolf are level 24, right? Levy is only level 11. Yeah, I'll bring Levy. Oh, but Racing? Nah, we should be fine here. We don't need to go fast, we just need to go. Ah, uh, they've got feral ones. Alright, so there could be like wyvern reinforcements from damn near anywhere, but luckily since it's on a bridge, I doubt we're gonna get just like ran reinforcements from all over. There could be a few coming from behind. But, um, let's storm the second bridge. Defeat like dies, victory sees. The way I like it. Strength of 20, she lifts. Crit's only 11 though, and dodge is only 20, so it's very basic damage. The speed is really the, the, the trick, I think. She's definitely got enough strength to handle this. So meaning her speed is just an active 23. So we've gotta be careful who we send up uh, anywhere near. But being a C's, she's probably not gonna move, so in fact we could, uh, I guess... Hang on a tick. Oh, it's got range, okay, bugger. For attack power 28, we could even have just like... We could honestly have someone like Soren just tank it for 25 turns if we really didn't if we didn't feel safe in fighting her. It's Grayson's res? Well, I'm not bringing him, so never mind. All right, I say we get uh, a little, wade our way slightly into this before, uh, before this episode is out. Let's get into it. Attention, let's uh, go. Maybe I can catch a nap while we fly. <laughs> I love horror. Oh god, he just, oh, he left. What, does that mean he's gonna try and circle around our back or something? They wouldn't have put him on the map if he was just- if he wasn't meant to be part of this mission, would they? So that, that was their clue, I suppose, that, uh, he's gonna be showing up somewhere. Why are these all grayed out? That doesn't seem right. I just guess, guess just because they're not stabs, they- 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 the UI doesn't highlight them correctly. That's weird. Hey, Giliana, just to be on brand, she's just gonna stare out at the sea while everyone else goes and fights. I think it's possible- this is my perception, anyway, that the, the Lagoo's combatants are just kind of- Naturally a little stronger than Bayork ones, to, which is to say level 11 Levy is like obviously very compar comparable to level 22 Oscar, say. She's, she outclasses him in, in most stats, I'd have said. The only- the thing is, is just that they transform back and forth, so they're not- you can't always use them. That's- and that's like the main drawback. And what I'm getting at is there is maybe we don't need to level her up all the way level 22 for things to be balanced. Ditto for Ranoff and Mordecai. Though I still would like your speed up a bit more. If I get any more speed wings or anything like that, they're going straight to you. Oh, I should have replaced your hero staff. What the balls am I doing? Oh my god, that's not good. Should I restart now? Uh, you know, it's probably fine. Uh, you know what, it's probably not. Do you know I'm gonna restart now? That's just not worth ruining everyone's life over. Just looking for any loot that might be back here. You never know, you never know. This is silly. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Ooh, I didn't check for any long-range mages. Ah, yes. Okay, there we go. Gotta remember you. Tornado. Ah. That should be enough for March to finish off. Less than she misses. Nicely done. And... Unnecessary crit! Ooh, a monk! I'm gonna try when we get to Petrine, which will be probably next episode, uh, to not be so anxious about it, like I usually am. 
and instead just kind of attack her from range with our mages and, and, and not assume that everything is going to be the worst and that they'll change the rules, because it has not happened yet. No, oh, I should have had to reseal someone else this turn. But never mind. Interesting maneuver. What was that? Why did, why did their health blink like that? And there was a weird noise. Oh, corrosion! Oh, I've given that to him, that's right. Well, I mean... <laughs> I thought I had, why, why didn't it do anything? Oh, this, was that, did they have, were they wielding a different axe? No, they had the Venon axe on. Man, it didn't corrode a damn thing. What the hell was with the, the super effect then? Grit! Bang! Could take your antitoxin, that would be kinda cool. Just to sell it or whatever. Uh, let's do that. Oh, you get XP for that, nice. Finally, something that gives you that. <laughs> nice. Oh man, that's so satisfying when that's the first thing that happens and you're expecting to take damage. That was a level for you! I'll take some strength, defense, and speed, and skill. Those are the th uh, just all the physical stuff. Yes! Defense of 17 as a super lithe, speedy sword master. Heck yeah. Very good, so next time it looks like we'll be uh, starting to tank up not only this Ballista, and I guess this these, this one also and all the ones up ahead, but also this Blizzard. We'll be doing a lot of staying and, and waiting every time we make a little bit of headway across this bridge, but... It is sturdily guarded, so that is sort of just kind of how it was always going to go, I suppose. And given that it sees, I'm going to try not to be a coward this time and instead just throw ranged stuff at her when we get there. And then, you know, hopefully they don't decide for the for the first time in the game to, to have a seize boss that moves. Sweet! So there's obviously more to Naysayer's um, betrayal, so-called, than, than uh, has, was, was previously let in on. Otherwise, why would he be so silent and... Either way, Ranolf seems to know about it, and he's on our party now, which is dope, and came sort of out of the blue. And Ike seems to have little to no resistance uh, getting permission to go as his army being up at the front. Which I guess we weren't necessarily expecting. Is it just me or is Soren's head twitching in a kind of weird way? Either who? We've also got news that Galia is willing to aid us, so it, all, all in all things considered, things are, seem to be looking up here in a, in a sort of suspicious way. But we're facing off against Patrine and potentially potentially also horror here, so there's this is going to be a big momentous battle anyway. After Patrine, I mean, do we know of any other? So the Black Knight and then Ashnar, do we know of there are any of the other their other like high ranking people? I guess not really. Patrine is one of Dan's four riders, right? I think. I can't remember, but if there are four, we've yet to see one or two then. <laughs> Anywho, that's all for now, so thank you so very much! In the next video, going up to the channel, going to be some more Tales of Asteria. Got that in right before I forgot. <laughs> thank you so much for going around. Hopefully, I will see you around. I was going to be out of here. Peace! Norman for the win. Hey, what? Sorry, huh? Ooh, huh? <laughs> thank you! This is great. I knew there were a bunch I'd be missing somewhere in places I'd already been. For instance, this one's of the S ones. This is probably the master. This one's comparison to these two or in Dragos. It's really just.